very special thing when creators can get together and exchange thoughts and ideas and make something greater than the sum of its parts. We ourselves have collaborations with multiple creators, including Armando Ferreira, Gerald Undone, and I Justine, who kindly invited us to take part in this year's Sony Camera Camp. If you're unfamiliar with what Camera Camp is, it's essentially a gathering of top creatives in the industry to collaborate and support each other in the creative process in order to stretch creative boundaries with workshops and activities. It's also a great opportunity to try out some awesome Sony gear. So we wanted to follow suit and set up our own table with cages, cables, and accessories to assist in everyone's creative workflows. We didn't really know what to expect going into it and only hoped that we could contribute to the creative space. What we experienced was so much more than that. The kindness and support we received was amazing from both old friends and new ones. This That's black cap is this black cap is, is freaking I want more I want definitely want more of these. So let's take a look at what went down at Camera Camp 2023. Sony and Justine led the way with some great introductions and some delicious food after a long day of traveling for most. Sony was kind enough to lend out cameras and lenses so we didn't waste any time and began rigging people out with whatever they were interested in trying. So what I want is to mount my monitor here instead of using the monitor here, but I also want to twist it and I also want grip. And so we have the cage on my FH3 with, uh, what's this called? Cook the uh, magic arm. Cook with the magic, magic arm? arm? Yeah. So when I put, mount my Ninja here, it's yeah. gonna be so much easier. That's the problem. Lynn's kept on. No, this is a nighttime photo. Who knows this stuff? Day two started with Sony's announcement for their new ZV-E1. Smallest and lightest interchangeable full frame camera. A small but powerful camera full of advanced AI features targeted at vloggers. Featuring intelligent microphone pickup based on face and audio detection. Automatic reframing for more dynamic shots and dynamic auto aperture that adjusts aperture, ISO, and shutter speed automatically to provide the best focus depending on the amount of faces it detects. For example, if only one person is in the shot, you'll get some nice shallow depth of field with bokeh, but if someone else enters the frame, the aperture will close, allowing for deeper depth of field so you can see both subjects, all while maintaining the same exposure. All of this is packed into a tiny body, making it easy to record on the fly. But when Brandon Washington asked us for a bigger rig, then you know we couldn't stop until this thing looked like a dang transformer. It's on the it's base plate. not what Sony had in mind. Yeah, I don't think so, but you know, I like it, honestly. <laughs> and that's not all. Sony had another trick up their sleeves with their new Xperia phone. So Sony just released their new ZV-E1, and you can use the their new Xperia phones as a monitor for it. And honestly, I think that's a really super sick setup. And as you can see here, we have the Condor Blue quick release to monitor mounts. And when we say these things are like Legos, this is exactly what we're talking about. Before the day was over, the sun finally came out and I was able to catch a couple of our friends doing what they do best. The next day, everyone was really starting to settle in and let their creative juices flow. While some took off into the city, others took advantage of our beautiful setting and tested out their setups. This is how you know you're with a bunch of creators. Look at this. Luckily, no one had to jump into the water to save a drone this time. And it also happened to be Justine's birthday, so you know we couldn't let her get away without everyone seeing into her first. The last full day of camp started off with some sick dance moves, but that only served as a warm up for what was to come. The understanding that it is an inherently dangerous sport, which may result in bodily harm, paralysis, or even death. Let's do it. There was no time to rest because while everyone started on the scavenger hunt, I got my hands on Sony's 600mm G Master lens. Mm -hmm. 
and quickly gave it back after realizing I was waving around about 13 grand worth of glass. Josh Hill was pretty excited about it too. We gotta get a couple shots. We finished the evening with a luau featuring some beautiful music, dancing, and of course, good food. And I finally got to play with the ZVE-1. The next morning consisted of a lot of goodbyes and solidification of great memories with great friends. All in all, it was an incredible experience and we can't thank Justine and Jenna enough for inviting us. It's a great reminder that in a world of constant online creation and consumption, it's important to get out there and get inspiration from those around you. From building meaningful relationships to developing strong communication skills, face-to-face -face interaction plays a vital role in our personal and professional lives. So get out there, get inspired, and don't forget to stay creative.